November 14th is the birthday of the first Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru. He is a lover of children. Let us learn something about his love for children. Every year it is observed as Children's Day. He liked children very much. He used to say he knew the future lives and thrives. He used to address children like that. Nehru loved children so much and he always advised them to read books, to see nature. But according to Jawaharlal Nehru, the initial education of children should not be so much in the form of our thirsting on them the knowledge and information registered in the books, but in the form of enabling them to watch and they appreciate the nature. Nature, he felt, was a vast laboratory for study and wonder. It is the creation of the infinite force of spirit, never fully incompatible and definable by human thought. Jawaharlal once wrote, I would like to go up to the nook and corners of India in the company of young children whose minds open, open out with the wonder and curiosity as they made their new discovery. That is Jawaharlal Nehru and his love for children. He always advised the parents that they should know that their job was to remove the hurdle that came in the way of their natural and total development. Jawaharlal Nehru never liked barriers of religion, caste, color, party, and nation, province, language, customs, and riches. And it is in the children such matters are not there, he used to say. Children have no such feelings. They love each other. Imparting good education to the youth was very important. But Jawaharlal believed that youth must not be made to resent manual labor. In India, unfortunately, there was a dislike for manual labor and as though it was something degrading. Children, he thought, should right from the beginning of school age be made to appreciate manual work. They must be made to develop a joy for using their limbs to handle implements and tools. That is Jawaharlal Nehru. Weekly is a famous magazine which was started in 1949 by an eminent journalist, cartoonist. He used to get every year a competition. He used to organize a competition for children, writing competition. He used to encourage children to have paintings, to prepare, to draw paintings. And a painting competition was held every year. Jawaharlal Nehru liked that competition. And once, in, during in the year 1949, he Shankar asked me, it, he, Nehru says, Shankar asked me to write something for the children's number. In a weak moment of uh, thinking that more of the children than the weekly, I promised to write. But I soon realized that I had made a rash promise. What am I to write? But he continued, he cannot forget my age. He never like the old people advising, interfering in the affairs of children. Only old people should guide them. That is how he felt it. He says, I hope you will be more sensible and open your eyes and ears to the beauty and life surrounded by you. Can you recognize the flowers by their names and the birds by their singing? How easy, how easy it is to make friends with them and with everything in the nature. If you go to them affectionately, and with the friendship, you must have read many tales, fairy tales and stories about these flowers, birds and etc. Once, grown people have a strange way of putting themselves in compartments and groups. And children, they do not have such thing. And so, his love for children is very great. Once, after having dressed himself for office, and looking out of uh, the bedroom window at Tienmurti Bhavan, Jawaharlal Nehru spotted a four-year-old naked child 
trying to pluck a ripe fruit from my tree. He saw the child, made several attempts to reach it by jumping. The child looked around and saw a few bricks nearby. He carried them right under where the fruit was hanging and painstakingly made a, a raised platform. Then he climbed it, again made few attempts to reach the fruit, but of no avail. While he was doing like this, the gardener spotted him, stood up to him and gave him a tight slap. The poor child wept. Jawaharlal ran down the stairs two or three at a time, dashed straight towards the Mali, slapped him hard and shouted at him furiously for having disturbed the child in mm. that was Jawaharlal mm. He then turned to the child, tenderly hugged him and consoled him lovingly, not realizing all this while that his spotless white dress was being spoiled by the crying child. He, don't, he then told Mali to get some fruit for him. He was so furious with the Mali that he even wanted to dismiss him. It was only an associate of Jawaharlal Nehru intervened and pleaded with him not to do so, that he cooled and relented. That was the great Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru and his love for the children.